What's up guys and welcome back to another Poker Night. I've got another dealer choice game for you. I developed this this year so this game is relatively new. So comment down below if you know a variation to it or what you think about it. This game is called The Dirty Faced Angel. Here's how you play and deal The Dirty Faced Angel. Start with a shuffle deck of cards. Determine your ante. I usually go a little higher on the ante for this game and I'll, you'll see why at the end. We'll say the ante is going to be 50 cents and each chip is worth a quarter. So once the ante is good, you're going to deal all players one down card. And they can pick it up and look at them. Show you here what everybody has. And here's the dealer's card. A betting action on this round is just going to go left of dealer clockwise because there's no up cards. And this player here will just bet a quarter and the rest of the table is going to call. Once the pot's good, you can give everybody one up card. And our betting action from here on out is going to be highest hand on the table. So we have an ace right here. There's the first ace out. And he'll bet a quarter. And the rest of the table is going to call. Once your pot's good, you can give everyone their second up card. We got ace nine over here, and that player is going to bet a quarter. The rest of the table will just call. Now you can give everyone their third and final up card. This player over here does hit a pair of cowboys, and he's going to bet a quarter. And the rest of the table will just call. Pot's good. You can go ahead and give everyone a down card. And they can look at this. I'll just show you what everybody has. And the dealer. Now this betting round, it will be the same player because no up card was turned, so betting action goes back to this player here. He bets another quarter, and everybody's going to call. So now I deal all players two down cards in front of their up cards. Just like that. Now this is why it's called the Dirty Faced Angel. If you would like, you can buy one of these two cards. Any player can buy one. You can't buy two, and you cannot look at them. If you want to buy one of these two cards, you put double the ante on top of the card you want to buy. So our ante was 50 cents, and to buy the card is going to cost a dollar. So I just have everyone, if they want to buy the card, sometimes people don't buy them, uh, just put your money on top of the card you want to buy. Once you've done that, you go ahead. Each player can take the card they want to buy. They put their money into the pot. And I have them leave the other down card out in front. I only leave this card here because once the game's over, everyone wants to know, well, what was the card uh, that I could have bought? Because that's where the funny part kicks in is... Most of the time, uh, people buy a card, and the other card probably would have helped them more. So to determine who the highest better is uh, on this last round, I just tell everyone you can go one, two, three, flip, or turn one. And everybody's going to turn one of their down cards over. And then you can take a look around the table, see who has the highest hand showing, and that will determine who the better is. This player here, he still has those pair of cowboys. So he'll bet a quarter, and everybody's going to call. And now you can just say one, two, three, flip, or turn one, whatever you want to do. You're going to make the best five card hand. So if you bought a card, you're going to have one extra card in your pile. So there's his five cards. And whatever card you don't use, you can just hang on to it. And back by your chip stack. And this player here. So now we just determine who's won. This guy here, he's got kings and eights. 
Uh, this player here, he's got an ace high. This player here, he's got all red, but uh, no heart. So he's just got an ace high. So this player here is going to win the entire pot. Now this game generates a pretty good chip stack. Now that's just me uh, minimum betting and calling all the bets. And now the fun part is everyone wants to know what the other card is they, they could have bought. So everybody can just take a look at them and this is where all the hooting and hollering comes in. You know, it's usually somebody bought the wrong card. Like this guy got a cowboy. Uh, this may not have helped him. A four would have paired me up, but not really done much. So that's where the fun part of this poker game comes in. Is usually uh, there's going to be a guy hooting and hollering and carrying on because uh, he probably could have won the pot. Hope you guys enjoyed watching how to play the Dirty Faced Angel. If you guys have another variation to it or you've changed something about the game, comment down below and let me know how it's going. Take it to your next poker night, see how your friends like it, and as always, Thank you for watching.